Good morning. The government yesterday won the backing of unions to reform the nation's public pension system. The leaders of the two main labour unions, the UGT and the CCOO, appeared alongside the Minister of Social Security, Jose Luis Escriva, in Madrid to christen the plan that the union bosses deemed historic. The CCOO Secretary-General said the reform would be key to ensuring pensions for Spain's retired population, which he said is expected to increase from 10 to 15 million people by 2048. Workers must already stay on the job until at least 65, but won't be asked to work any longer. Instead, the new deal signed off on by the unions will aim to handle a looming boom in the number of retired workers by increasing the social security costs on businesses for higher wage earners. Spain has one of Europe's fastest ageing populations and one of its highest rates of youth unemployment at around 30%, a cocktail that made tweaking the pension system a must. A reform of the social security system was one of the requirements established by the European Union for Spain to continue receiving billions of euros from its post-pandemic recovery funds. Approval was won from Brussels last week. The plan will be given the go-ahead by the Cabinet today and then head to Parliament to become law. Shares in the troubled Swiss banking giant Credit Suisse plunged to a record low as investors remained on edge after the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. Credit Suisse's shares sank by 30% at one point yesterday, extending declines from the day before when it disclosed material weaknesses in its accounting controls. The bank insisted its financial position was not a concern, with the chief executive saying its cash reserves were still very, very strong. But fear of problems at such a big international player put pressure on the banking shares around the world. The Prime Minister's both Spain and France spoke out as the Stocks Europe Banking Share Index tumbled 7%. Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez spoke out seeking to calm the markets. And authorities have dismantled a criminal ring that trafficked poverty-stricken women from Latin America to Europe, forcibly confining them indoors 23 hours a day and prostituted them to whatever needs their clients demanded of them. Seven human trafficking suspects were arrested, six were women, including the group's suspected leader. But he's also managed to free the 13 victims found at the scene from captivity. The Guardia Civil tracked the group to a house in Bilbao. Every aspect of the women's lives was out of their control. Closed-circuit television cameras monitored them around the clock. Following their rescue, the women received aid from a non-governmental organisation which works to rehabilitate victims of sex slavery around the world and helps them reintegrate into society. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.